But as far as the broader questions, I think that the best arguments, geopolitically, the best argument that I've heard for doing this transition is coming from Barron and Christian and even from Gordon. When they articulate hypothetical future questions, conjectures, and potential problems. Because it's in the face of those problems that more than ever the community actually needs brand new powers that we've never had before to actually hold this corporation called ICANN accountable for how it reacts to the changes that occur. If a creative lawsuit shows up or if the community itself is, is, is not holding together, that is when the community needs the powers that we'll have with the new bylaws. We don't have them today. And NTIA has next to no power at all over ICANN. All NTIA could do is to say, we don't think we're going to allow uh, NTIA could say, we don't think that ICANN should publish the route. ICANN can publish the route anyway. All that really matters is whether the ISPs around the world who pick up a copy of the DNS route every morning will continue to pick it up from ICANN. It's their choice. It's not the U.S. government's choice at all. That's what so many of you have failed to, to, to keep in mind, is that the DNS is a voluntary involvement. The folks who make this DNS run so that the internet resolves domain names for email and websites, they do so because they trust the route that they get. And if they stop trusting it, they'd go elsewhere. They're not going to listen to command and control from the U.S. government.